What's up guys? Hello guys! Welcome to the fourth chapter of the video series we are making about our gear. Yeah, today we're gonna talk about our closet, so what we carry on our panniers regarding clothes, winter, summer and cycling clothes and everything. Yes, just check it out. The bicycle travel department informs. There is no rule about traveling by bicycle. You carry your comfort and whatever you think is necessary. The best gear is the one you have. Hello guys, so now I'm gonna introduce you my closet. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a little introduction about this um, toiletry bag. It's where we carry shampoo, soap, toothpaste, tooth, toothbrush, those kind of things. On episode one, you're gonna see where we put it and how we carry this. The good thing about this is because it has a, a kind of hanger that goes in here. You just open like this and then you can put it like in the toilet, whatever you are, or on the tree, on the tree. We have been traveling through uh, warm countries for a while now, so our winter clothes is separated because we're not using it very often. And so I would like to show you, we have a raincoat, it's Gore-Tex, and we use it as a windshield as well, so it works really well in a cold day and in a rainy day. We have a fleece that is really warm. We usually don't use this for cycling on a cycling day. So we rather use this because it's easier to clean than this one. This one dries quite fast because it's a raincoat. So this one we just use when we are like just for sleeping or when we are not, when we are not cycling and this is another one so we like to do if, if it's very cold we like to do a kind of layers so we have this puff jacket that is super compact as well has a hood it's super warm has two pockets so this is a down jacket and we don't use for cycling as well this one is just for uh, staying at home and when we arrive in a place and it's super compact you just do it like become like this so it's super light and compact for cycling clothes we have just one so we have two gloves at the beginning of the trip in hot countries I was wearing uh, shorts but I gave up so I'm using the pants now it's a paddy pants so it's comfy and helps a lot it's black but I like don't bother me because of, it's not hot at all so I think I'm use it too my long sleeve t-shirt we choose for long sleeve because we are exposed to the sun pretty much the whole day this has a UV protection so it's really good and super light easy to dry after a cycling day we just give a quick wash and then we hang somewhere and on the next day it's dry so this this is really really good at the beginning of the trip we used to wear those uh, cycling clothes you can see by like previous videos on our photos but now we choose this one because like if you want to use this on the daily basis it's fine so if you want to go to the supermarket, the people who is not going to look at us or who this weird guy or this weird girl. So this one is really good and the convenience of being with UV protection and dries really fast. So this one is really good. This is called a packing cell. We bought this in New Zealand. Uh, I think you can find in different brands as well. So what do I carry here on the first one? It's here it's my underwear. I think I have a lot but I like it so I don't I don't mind with the weight. So I have seven underwears, one bikini and I have two cycling uh, tops 
and we have one microfiber towel each. We have a lot of socks. We have been cycling through cold countries and warm countries. So when we are traveling through uh, cold countries, we have different socks. And when we are traveling through warm countries, we have another socks. This is a medium size. I think has a small size and a big size. This one fits really well on the pannier. Uh, it's in the episode one and here, also, I put in my computer, so it goes uh, between the towel and the underwears. Kind of protect my computer if something happens, if the bicycle fall down. So here we have the winter and the summer. I have two dresses, so this and another one. I have two pair of normal pants, so it's this one. And this one is a um, convertible pant, so it's a short and can be a pant as well i have here the the other part that you just zip here and became a pant uh, this is a kind of a, a pant that you can you can do whatever you want you can go in a hike you can use if you have to take an airplane or if you have to go to a place that you have to be a little bit groomed and this kind of thing so this pant is really 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 good uh, i do have another pair of another short it's just one that dries fast as well so we kind of choose all those clothes that can dry fast these t-shirts as well that goes uh, really good to go in an airplane if you have to go to a different place i have one known uh, known sleeve shirt just one i have one under layer pant and i have my thermal we're traveling for a long time. We have been on the road for one year and three months now, and we still have at least another year and a half traveling. We're gonna pass by to high altitudes. We're gonna go to cold countries. So these things is the kind of thing that we have to have, because if it's too cold and we don't have those things, it's gonna be quite hard for us. So it's an extra weight, yes it is, but we're gonna use it eventually, so we have this and it's not too bulky so you can just do like you can just roll it and it's easy to fit everything here and that's it i hope that you liked this video here i hope that you liked what we said about our clothes and stuff Please drop a comment to ask whatever you want to ask to us you know if you have any doubts about something something that we have it drop a comment below here and don't forget to like this video it's gonna help us a lot and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends you know to give them ideas how to go traveling in winter and summer time at the same time we we'll see you in the next video if you like this video and want to support us to keep creating this kind of content you can make a donation using paypal donor box or apoyasi